Hey guys, what is up? This is Ant Dude, and welcome back to Crash 3 Warped. Last time we took out Cortex, but we're not done with the adventure yet. As you can see, I'm running real, real, real fast. I can also do normal running, but forget that, I can run real fast. So now begins a different part of the adventure. Now we need to begin a journey to collect every single time relic by doing these time trials. Now, I'm not going to be showing all of them because I will drive myself insane trying to do that. Instead, however, I feel like I can probably show off three or four of the levels just in this first segment or this first world. It still feels weird calling them a world, but you know, it's what they are. So, I mean, you can typically do these time trials without the run, maybe, but it just makes them a whole lot easier, at least in these running levels, at least. So when you beat a level, and you've already seen that in this Let's Play, you, the clocks will show up, and once you touch them, the time trial begins. But what's awesome about this game's time trials, as opposed to just, like, beat the level fast, and then we'll keep track of your time. When we'll get to one eventually, there's going to be here, a box with a number on it, and that freezes the timer for as many seconds as was on the box. It's, it's, um... Not really, I mean, a huge thing, because you can still, I guess, do the math and, like, still factor in how long it took you to beat the level. But, uh, something about it just, it, it feels more satisfying when the game is encouraging, don't just run fast, but plan how you tackle boxes. You can't tackle frogs, though. That's not what you're supposed to do. Not happening this time, frog. I got a mask on my back. Oh, is this one. I think this was the frog that caused me trouble. All right, whatever. It's fine. Still up. Uh, still got past him. I made sure to take a little bit of time to get a mask. So I'm, I'm all good. Uh, so yeah, we, we did pretty good with flying colors here. I believe the time on the menu said 1 minute 10 and we did 46.93. So that's not too bad. We got a gold out of that. There is, uh, ah, there you go. And there is one above that and I'm... Pretty sure it's the platinum one. Um, there's not a chance I'm going to be attempting the platinum ones because, oh, is it that? I feel like there's one above that. Maybe I'm wrong. No, because that was that was blue. I I don't know colors apparently. I think there's one above the gold. But from what I remember and what I've read online, the time limits are very 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 strict. Like, if you don't do it perfectly, like to the pixel to the frame. There's a chance you'll screw up. I can't I can't do that. That I definitely do not have the patience for. However, just making sure I actually get a time relic is fine. Also, I jumped over the Aku box thinking, oh, Aku's gonna stay with me. But I also saw him fly off when I hit the, the clock, so that that wasn't very nice. So, I mean again, it like these areas would have been perfectly doable without those the running shoes, but it saves me the stress. It gives me like a bit more of an open window, uh, cause I'm just, I just want to get the time trials, I, the time relics. I don't want to perfect them. There aren't many games where I I end up liking the speed run stuff. Uh, I, I cause I typically don't speed run games. I think I've said this before in one of my Crash Let's Plays that I, I appreciate speed run strategies, cause I can incorporate some of that stuff into casual play. But, in general, I don't like doing speedruns. Something about this, though, because it you have the boxes, which add a little bit of strategy, add more strategy than, than just being fast. Um, you have the running shoes, which are just a cool little part of uh, post-game content. Uh, oh, boy. And then, oh, boy, I, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought because I'm, I'm running low on... I think it was 140. It was this one. Get back foul dinosaur. No! No! I'm running low on time. They didn't throw out- there's not really many boxes in here. Okay, boom. Are we good? Time relic. Yeah, okay, gold. Well, let's see if I can get consistent golds. That'll be nice. So, I'm gonna try tackling, like, two more levels, I think, here. Uh... Now, as you can already assume, the speed shoes really only benefit the ma the actual, like, platforming levels with Crash. 
the rest of the stuff you can do whenever you please. Uh, so we're gonna, we have the Coco stuff on Pure the Tiger, we got the water levels, we got the motorcycle stuff, we got the planes. We have a whole lot of different things we can do. So there's Pura. What was this one? This one was the jet, the the, the jet boat or whatever words. We got that thing. That's always gonna that's gonna be a good time speed running. I know that for a fact. And then we have here the underwater bit. I'm gonna throw in the underwater bit here because I know for a fact these are going to be the thing that I hate the most. Not a chance. Like there's there's no doubt in my mind I'm going to despise these the most. But uh, hopefully we do okay. Let's see. And away we go. I got to appreciate the little minor detail of like seeing the top of the water. That, that's a pretty cool little effect. That adds a little bit of immersion. But I feel like this is gonna end really, really badly. Cause I wanna rush so bad, but if I rushed right there, I would've died. I don't remember the level layouts like at all. Even when I was going slow, I was dying quite a bit. Yep, see, okay, good. Where's my little dragon thing that shoots missiles? I want that. It looks like a dragon. I want bot. There we go. Oh, sweet. It was a three. The so three second boxes are fairly rare. There we go. I'll take you. I think that I forget if this acted as an extra hit point. I mean, I'm sure I'll find out the hard way, but I'll try keeping this as long as I can because this clearly makes me go faster as well. Never stop shooting. That's another thing. The controller is rumbling like crazy. Go, 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 go. Is that it? Oh, okay, no, no, that's not it. Just go slow and steady. I probably could have squeezed down there, but I'm good. Ah. I should have actually want what? What? What hit me? I didn't see anything. Oh, God, now I gotta. Was there an eel there and I didn't see it? That was garbage. I didn't see it. Okay. We got it. I saw the eel now. I didn't see him before. He was cloaked in the back. Didn't like, didn't like that very much at all. But I think I'm doing okay. That I didn't see. I knew what it was as I got hit, but it's, it's okay. Well, at least we're done, right? Go! Okay, 128. I got a pesky little blue. As expected, because I hate these water levels. Ah! Yeah, it's ah again. I gotta do like all 25 levels of this. I just, I'm not gonna bother inputting my name every single time. After a while, trying to get from A to N to T, it's gonna drive me crazy. Uh, oh, it's 117? Oh man, okay, wait, wait, stop. I gotta let the dance go, because you guys wanted it. I feel like I'll get a bunch of crap for not doing the dance, there you go. What was the time? I, oh man, I was 10 seconds off. Okay, that's not, yeah. I was gonna give up on that. You don't get anything for getting better times either. It's just self-satisfaction. Although actually, you know, in the in the remastered version, if they actually make those online leaderboards, and then I guess they'll end up doing time trials in all three games. Ooh, that's a little bit more enticing. If there's online leaderboards, you get to compare your time with friends and stuff. Okay, you know, maybe that'll do it. I never really saw the appeal of like the arcade styled like. Look at my score. And that's all you can do. Uh, no. I mean, like, when they impl when they put leaderboards like that into the, into home games. Now I'm just, oh boy. This is something that you also could have done uh, whenever you wanted. Just hold the run button the entire time. It's very panic inducing. Um, but this also means you don't really get the, le the leeway of potentially doing the uh, time trial stuff, oops, the time trial stuff before you have the ability to run. So the time is still gonna be strict. You just have to run like the entire time. We're just gonna keep going through this now. Cause I just wanna, I like, cause I love these levels and I wanna make sure I do good. And I saw a couple of pathways I should have taken, but I messed up. I gotta know not to jump super high at that one part now. Cause that's bad. No, I don't. I don't even think the the mask, like Aku, won't save me now. Okay, so there's that one. That's kind of tough if I'm running the whole time. That's fine though. Sweet. I'm getting a ton of boxes, so I, I'm fairly confident. I got this. Don't. There we go. Okay. Boom. Three. 
That was skillfully done. Three second box on top of that. Boom! Okay, so like... I really didn't miss anything. Like, there was one or two boxes from the upper path that I missed. What did I get? Still a gold. Ah, boy. Okay. Still a gold. I was... Just kind of hoping... Like, there's an inkling of a chance I would have gotten the, uh, the platinum. So, is there gonna say? Because I, I believe the highest they don't say. I think it's all online. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's one more. If not, I'm going crazy. But I feel like there's definitely one more. So we got four of them already, right? So we got these four. Uh, let's go... Let's go all out. Let's do the entire first world. Because, again, these levels are the easiest. I have no problem doing these. Once we get later on, I just, I'm going to need to, like, put music on and, you know, make sure my nerves stay at ease. Uh, luckily, these these levels are still awesome. But it's a very similar uh, idea to the Pura stuff in that really just play the level as you would normally, but just try and never let go of the X button. I mean, that's really it. Um... And I, I don't know, I, I like that bit of challenge. I'm fine with it. Which, I mean, I feel like I'm coming off as kind of contradictory in terms of how I like speedrun stuff and don't. Because I, mean, I, I guess it depends on the reward that you get also. Because the other game that usually comes to mind is like Donkey Kong Country Returns. Because there was a time trial mode in that too. But you didn't really get anything for it. And, like, just in the long term, you really got nothing for it. Here, you do get the little, you know, recognition of how fast you did with the relics, but you also get more levels. And this is the big thing. So, this is why I was really going to do all five levels in the first place. Because we actually have an entire new world, I guess. We have a new series of five portals that lead to different areas. Uh, some different levels and some areas that we've been to before, but will give us access to different gems and stuff. Oh boy, oh boy. And they only really start be becoming accessible after getting five relics. That was a blue one? Ah, okay. I could do much better on that. Could do much better at that, but it's fine, I'll take it. I'm pretty sure the extra world is gonna show up now. Hopefully, my game didn't freeze, okay. That was a weird graphic glitch, and I hope that showed up in the footage, because that was a very weird thing to see. I was only like a second off! Ah! Ah, crumbs! It was so close. Is it there? Hey, look at that! It's a new thing. It's a new platform that's going to bring us above and then below. And then we have this here, which I find fascinating, by the way, in the back. The scientists aren't actually people, they're just robots that get formed into different, like, costumes and stuff, and then get sent to different time periods. That's how it's done. They're all a scientific creation. The walls have been broken down in Cortex's operation. This says here, the Neo-Core system. This is, you know, really getting down to the nitty-gritty here. But, what we have here, you can see there are levels that we can't get to yet. Some we've been to, though. Future Frenzy that we've been to. Here is Hang 'em High, like I said before, with the yellow gem. Uh, that you see that they all need a different amount of relics to enter in increments of five. This level I can get into right now. This is a brand new uh, jet ski level with ski crazed. And you, there's no crystal there. There's just a gem and a time relic. You don't need the time relics for those last five, which is nice. Um, but I'm going to save all that. For the next episode, I guess. For me, it's gonna be a while because I'm gonna take this time now to get the relics for every single other level. I don't have a save file that I'm gonna pop into my PlayStation 3 and be like, hey, look at that, I got them all, and then trick all of you. No, I'm gonna have to spend like all night, maybe two nights, considering I'm gonna go insane at least once, getting relics for all of them. So there's that. Uh, pray for me. That's going to wrap up this episode of Crash 3 Warped. Next time, we got a bunch of new levels to dive into. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And as always, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.